Electric car sales for France and Norway in Europe have just been revealed. And well, both countries, the sales numbers are, well, at least to me, a little a little bit surprising. Here's why I'm, I'm still surprised to see these numbers. I, sh I shouldn't be surprised, should I? I really shouldn't, but here's why I am. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. EV sales in France hit a new record in the month of September. They hit just under 20% market share. So that's an improvement of around 35% versus the same month last year. Pretty good numbers, not earth shattering, but still pretty good. Of course, we've hit significantly higher numbers than that across many other European car markets, but still not bad. Now, what is still continuing to surprise me is this. Tesla is, well, yeah, once again, dominating. The Model Y is the most popular car. Model Y was the most popular car, I believe in France for the entire month period. Tesla delivered 5,035 Model Ys. Second best selling car was the French Peugeot E208 with 3,924 deliveries. The Dacia Spring made in China was the third best selling car with 2,500 deliveries followed by the Fiat 500E 2,300, MG4 1,945. So there you go. I mean, there's the top five best-selling cars, EVs, in France. Three of them are Chinese. Hang on a minute. No, they're not. The Tesla Model Y is made in Germany. Of course, that means the actual made in China Tesla Model 3, which is about to get a huge improvement. Well, look, I believe that um, we've just seen the last of the old versions delivered to customers because... The Model 3 was actually about the 15th best-selling electric car in France. Only, um, what was it, 385 were delivered in the month. The reason being, what I'm hearing is, next month, the Model 3 Highland arrives in France. And the sixth best-selling EV was the Renault Megane, with 1,372 deliveries, followed by the Renault Twingo, 968, Kia e Nero, 623, the Citroen EC4 596, the MG ZS EV with 585, and the Mini Cooper SE with 572. Now, these numbers, are, they're pretty good, but Norway was, of course, much, much better. In Norway, new records were set for electric vehicle deliveries. The percentage of sales of cars in Norway that were fully electric in the month of September was actually 89.1%. If you look at the month of September in 2022, if you look at 2023, that has grown, not by a whole lot, but it's grown to 93%. Meaning, well, 93% of all vehicles sold in Norway in the month of September were fully electric. So who dominated? Who won? Who lost? Well, the Model Y won this one as well. Of course, no shock there. But I think what is really shocking here is the fact that the Model Y took 24% of all cars sold, period, of all cars sold, period, in Norway. That's, to me, just insane. I don't know how this keeps on happening, especially since this is the old version of the Model Y. These sales, I, I believe, will get a bit of a boost once the newer version with the you know slightly improved range and a lot more power comes to market. I think those changes, plus the interior changes to the car, they're enough to give it a pretty nice little boost in sales. How long will it be before this version of the new Model Y comes to the German market, uh, the German factory, and therefore the rest of Europe? I'm gonna guess it will happen within the next four weeks, but really I'm speculating, I don't know for sure. Anyhow, Model Y sales for the month of September, 2,500, which was 24% market share. For the entire year though, Tesla holds 20.5% market share for the Model Y, meaning well, more than one in every five EVs sold this year in Norway was the Tesla Model Y. But there's a lot of EVs you can buy in Norway. In fact, there's more than 50 different models. So the market is saturated and still somehow the Model Y is selling incredibly well. The second best selling electric car for the month was actually the Skoda Enyaq. 697 Enyaqs were delivered to customers. 
The third best-selling car was the Ford Mustang Mach-E. It's quite a surprise here, but anyway, kudos to Ford. That's a good result. 493 Mustang Mach-E's were delivered. And I feel a little bit sorry for people who bought the Toyota. I think you've got to be a real massive Toyota brand fan because the Mach-E and the Model Y and even the Skoda Enyaq, they're all better than the, the Toyota BZ4X by a fair margin. And they're similar, similarly priced. I really don't understand why anyone would buy the BZ4X. No one, in fact, would, even Toyota fans, I don't think, would argue this point. Anyhow, 472 Toyota BZ4Xs were sold, meaning I believe it was actually the fifth best-selling car in Norway. Quite a surprise. The Volkswagen ID4. I don't know what's happening. ID4 sales appear to be declining pretty quickly in Europe. ID4 had a slow month. It had 257 new registrations. However, it is still the second best-selling car in Norway for the year. It has 6% market share. So as you can see, 5,832 deliveries for the ID4 this year in Norway, which compares you know, not too bad to Tesla's 19,600 for the Model Y. Did I just say it compares well? No, it doesn't compare well, does it at all? Anyway, let me know your thoughts on these car markets in Europe. Now, keep in mind, Europe and the United States, they have a very similar size in terms of their car markets. So China is the biggest car market in the world. It's followed by Europe and the US, which are pretty well equal second. The sales in these countries do matter. They they basically influence car manufacturers on what they should make next year. So it will have a it will definitely have an impact. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.